Now, all of the houses here in Greenore in County Louth were purposely built for railway workers back in the 1870s. Some of the descendants of those workers still live here, but down through the years, there's been the arrival of new blood. And one such person is Japanese printmaker Yoko Akino, who, along with her musician husband, who's from County Clare, draws inspiration from the wild and windy aspect of this particular part of the Cooley Peninsula. Green Ore in County Louth is home to Yoko Akino, her songwriter husband, Malcolm McClancy, and their two daughters, Maeve and Ashlyn. Yoko is from a rural part of Kyoto in Japan, and Malcolm is from County Clare. They moved here three years ago from Dublin and have settled into this Victorian port village. I have been here for 14 years in Ireland. Uh, it wasn't, when I came here, wasn't, this wasn't fun to have a rich husband and two little girls. But now we have, so I'm very happy to be here. Yoko is a printmaker and finds the windy aspect of the village conducive to art making. My subject is um, wind, which is iron, it's very windy. I like to use that, so living here I can find that something for my imagination. One of Yoko and Malcolm's neighbours is Brian Larkin. He runs the local shop and he is very proud of his heritage. I'm a local man. My family would go well back in railway history in Green Ore. My grandfather, great-grandfather, grandmother and uh, my mother. Um, we've opened a photographic museum in the semi-rooms in Green Ore, which is part of the Green Ore Cooperative Shop, which was the former dancing room for the village of Green Ore. Uh, which uh, tells the story in picturesque form of the, the rail and sea efforts within the village throughout its life. When we came here first, it, it kind of struck us as, as a bit like something that you'd find in the north of England. That's my concept, anyway, what you'd find in the north of England, kind of cut stone buildings. It's quite um, planned. Like when Yoko's um, mum visited from Japan, she thought it was like something out of Harry Potter. So it has a kind of a fairy tale thing, and they've, they've done the town, the village very nicely with the, the street lights are kind of replicas of the original gas street lights. They used to make their own gas here. They were a completely kind of self-sufficient community. James Barton would have been the architect for the entire project, and we feel probably there would have been stonemasons and whatever taken in from England or Wales to build this village, uh, carpenters, tradesmen of all shapes. And of course then there was local labour and local stonemasons would have assisted in the building and construction. Just two kilometres down the road from Green Ore at St Andrew's Church at Bush, a memorial plinth was recently erected by the Bush and Grange Partnership. It's here to commemorate three sailors who lost their lives at sea near Green Ore in 1858. The power of the sea has an effect on the songwriting of Yoko's husband. He co-wrote the song Prayer Before a Voyage with the singer Fergus O'Farrell of the band Interference. Be my weather, blow through me like the wind. Bush Schoolhouse at St Andrews has been restored. It is hoped that it will soon house art exhibitions by local artists, including the work of Yoko Aquino. For what do I wish? We'd had some kind of fantasy about living in a farmhouse, you know, halfway up a mountainside, but actually find it's much nicer to be um, in the community here, you know, living, living in, in the village. And um, something that we find about the people in the village is that they're always there when you need them. They're very friendly and open people, our neighbours are but you're also left alone as well, so there's that um, perfect kind of balance for us. Green Ore would be used to all nationalities coming in and out through a village with the local ships arriving and of course we welcome Mal and Yoko because they have um, the new blood to the village, taking a different direction in the village and have, uh, are preparing to raise a family within the village and this is what we welcome. 
from Japan to Green Ore in County Louth. And we wish Yoko and Malcolm the best of luck in the years to come.